The newly screened ministerial nominees have expressed delight in their nomination, promising Nigerians that they will work to fulfill President Bola Tinubu's renewed hope agenda. This was as 13 nominees were screened by the Senate in Abuja. Today we are here, we have declared our nominee, Prince Abubakar Shaibu Audu, and he has performed excellently well. This is a display of talent hunting by Mr. President. He has identified talent, and by the special grace of God, we that are assisting in helping him to hunt for such talents, we appreciate him so much. I think the screening exercise is what is the process of the Senate, and of course it went very well and very smoothly. Uh, of course, as it is, I introduced myself and very briefly, and of course, I was asked to take a bow in line with the privileges of the chamber, as it is. To give the FCT a nomination to be part of the Federal Executive Council, I'm happy. People of FCT, they are happy. We are all happy. We are jubilating. We are happy. Our grandparents. This is a defining moment in the history of the Federal Capital Territory. We want to thank the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, thank uh, the Vice President, Joe Jimmy Fitz, to ensure that uh, an FCT individual was nominated to serve in the Federal Executive Council. Indeed, you are aware that this has always been my legislative agenda, right from when I was in the House of Representatives, uh, right from 2003 to date. That wherever I am placed, I have a contribution to make for the, for the progress and the sustenance of peace in Nigeria. And that is why I was made the, uh, the, uh, the Director General of the campaign of Asuaju. I study I, and I know that the manifesto of Asuaju is as good as in my brain, all of them. So whatever we are doing, we are implementing, the, Mr. President is implementing the manifesto that he brought the manifestos that we sold to Nigeria and the manifestos that we are going to implement. We share in the dream that in order for Nigeria to be better for our children and our grandchildren, we need to take decisions that might appear painful in the short run, but we are confident. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.